Hello dear viewers, my name is Faridin Nuri and I'm a migration consultant in Germany. Today I would like to explain for you about the residence permit for the holders of a duldung after 18 months due to the humanitarian reasons in Germany. According to the section 25, subsection 5 of the Residence Act of Germany, a person who has a duldung since a long period of time in Germany and should actually be deported from Germany, can obtain a residence permit based on this section of the Residence Act of Germany from the Foreigners Office or Ausländerbehörde on its discretion if his or her deportation is impossible for legal or factual reasons and it is not expected that his or her deportation can take place in the foreseeable future. Now we should know what the requirements for this type of a residence permit in Germany are. First, the person has a duldung based on section 60A of the Residence Act of Germany at least since 18 months. It's worth mentioning that the foreigner's office can also issue this type of a residence permit after a shorter period of time. Second, in the foreseeable future, the deportation of the person from Germany is, for the legal or factual reasons, not possible. For example, if a person with a duldung has a serious illness, this can be a legal reason based on which a person cannot travel. Or if a person has an illness which cannot be treated in his home country or if there is no treatment for his illness in his home country. It's worth mentioning that in such cases, the illness must be confirmed by a specialist. In addition, for example, if the person does not have a family or close relatives in his home country, but in Germany has a family and many relatives. Or if the person has a child with another person who has the residence permit of Germany or a German citizenship and German passport and the person with the duldung is taking care of the child. Or for example, in case of the deportation of the person, he will be under the threat of being hanged or tortured in his home country. The factual reasons are, for example, if there are no flights available to a country or if a person does not have a passport or a passport replacement to travel to his home country. Actually, most of the time, this is the case with the asylum seekers from Palestine or from some African countries. Third, it is not the fault of the person, him or herself, that he or she cannot be deported. For example, if the person does not cooperate with his foreigner's office in the procurement of his national passport or if he provides false information about his identity to the German authorities or if he deceives the German authorities about his identity or nationality, in such cases it is his own fault that he cannot be deported. Fourth, there should be no deception about the identity of the person. Fifth, the living expenses of the person must be insured. However, if necessary, the foreigner's office can ignore or waive this requirement. And sixth, the person must have submitted his national passport to the foreigner's office. However, if necessary, the foreigner's office can ignore or waive this requirement. When you complete these requirements, as I mentioned for you before, the foreigner's office or Ausländerbehörde can, on its discretion, give you a residence permit based on section 25, subsection 5 of the Residence Act of Germany. It's worth mentioning that your minor children and your spouse will also get the same residence permit. However, 
when the parents of the children get this residence permit and the children are 16 years old or 17 years old and it's possible to return them to their home country these children get a doodum from the foreigner's office and when they reach the age of majority they must count with the deportation to their home country this type of a residence permit is only issued for a limited period of time initially for a maximum of six months whether the residence permit is then extended is decided by the foreigner's office this office then checks again whether a voluntary return or a deportation is possible or not if it is then possible for the person to leave the country its residence permit is usually not extended and in such a case only in case of extraordinary hardship or in rare exceptional cases can his residence permit be extended for a limited period of time otherwise his residence permit is usually no longer extended that's why when you get this type of a residence permit it usually does not mean that you can live in germany for a long period of time or permanently if the foreigner's office or outstanding beholder does not extend your residence permit because your deportation or return to your home country is now possible you should consult a lawyer about it as soon as possible if a return is technically possible but unreasonable because of your personal circumstances an application for a residence permit should possibly be made in accordance with section 25 subsection 4 section 2 of the residence act of germany thanks a lot for watching my video if you would like to get similar important information about the immigration laws in germany your rights and duties in german society the living conditions in germany and other such important topics please subscribe and follow our channel if you have any questions or remarks about today's topic you can write it under this video and i will be more than happy to answer it for you